to I'm Shah, uh, and I uh, I'm really honoured to be able to be able allowed to do an interview. Sorry if I don't speak properly. Um, That's okay. Because I also speak Dutch, and it's been 25 years since I've lived in England. <laughs> I I love your deck. It's absolutely amazing. The enchanted tarot guys you must go out and get it um, and you will have my viewers my cyber angels and new people hopefully will be um, motivated to find out more about this deck and uh, to, to look at the review and it's a beautiful book and this is Yasmin that made Hi. the <laughs> I uh, this is Yasmin that made this beautiful deck and if you are watching this then watch next week's videos as well because I'm using them for next week. Now Yasmin has been so kind to do this interview with me and so you can put the face to the cards and you know like I said in my video last week um, it is so nice. Uh, to see the readers on YouTube because then you know whether you like the reader and you become one with them. Now Yasmin is a very private person and um, she's going to tell us a little bit about herself hopefully um, mm -hmm. but this is what I found out on uh, in, the, in the book and on her website that she's a private person and it took a long time to create all these images and that she had a, a vision and that's how it started. She's also a reader, an empath, a Reiki master. Yeah! So am I. <laughs> and she's, um, uh, she's very, very intelligent lady because she has also studied hypnotherapy and she's done, if you'll have to correct me uh, with this neuro linguistics uh, linguistic programming that is also a life coach but with an extra tweak to it and uh, that they call it an NLP and I'm a life coach too but not with the N on it <laughs> so <laughs> please explain us what does NLP uh, stand for well, it's neuro linguistic programming, and to be honest, it's been quite a while since I've done it. Um, oh yeah, sorry. First of all, I've got to say hi to all your um, viewers. <laughs> hi everybody. Um, yeah, I studied NLP quite quite a few years ago. It was it's to do with how we talk and what we say, and um, it's to do with the, the brain. I mean, it's been a very long time since I've done it. I don't actively use it at the moment, um, but it was something that just interested in me, interested me um, at the time. Um, why people say things the way they do, why we behave the way we do. What is it that, you know, um, what's the word? What is it that makes us who we are? And I felt that that would have helped me at that point um, to understand that. Because I love people watching. I love learning about people and what motivates them. Me too. And yeah. that's why, and to help people to find the answer because the answer is within yourself. That's right. Nine times out of 10, but you need uh, a feedback. So you bounce it onto somebody like a life coach and uh, just a listening ear. Then you're yeah. already there 65% of yeah. lightening your load. And did, uh, did this course or did did the knowledge that you learned as an NLP life coach, uh, did it help you in creating this deck? Um, probably not. Um, I, maybe subconsciously it did, but not consciously. I wasn't aware of using any of the NLP principles when I was creating it. Um, but, you know, we do a lot of things subconsciously, so maybe it did to some extent. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Um, I, I, I think uh, because you said to me, you read the cards or you see the uh, sort of the same way as I do, because of the feminine side of the cards, I, I picked that up. I, th I think you were pre very pleased with that, that I picked it up from your cards. Um, uh, I'm not a feminist. I don't like being a feminist. I'm a lady. <laughs> me too. I like it. Me I like too. it when a man spoils me and does I love it the door. Too. Yeah, but um, 
uh, yes, we all have the masculine and the feminine within ourselves. So I think this deck is also fantastic for um, masculine readers uh, because uh, perhaps uh, they're very sensitive anyway, mm -hmm. um, more so than uh, the general man. But I think they could um, open the door to more men to show that we have a feminine side and they have a feminine side that they should love themselves more take care of themselves because that's what a woman does like that nurturing mm -hmm. uh, side of the man and also a wake-up call to the women listen hey you are a woman but you've got a feminine and a masculine side be more businesslike when you need to be and that's when the NLP would come in because that's why I asked the question I can relate to that in that mm. way so to make ourselves more aware that we can tweak both our masculine and feminine yeah we, we've got both sides to us you know we're both masculine and feminine and um, yeah we, we, we have all that whether you're a male or whether you're a female you, you have both sides to you yeah um, because uh, um, if uh, I may uh, bring this up, um, you had um, a baby quite late in life because you've got uh, two children, one at 24 years and one at um, 17 years. And I think they're, they're all boys, aren't they? No, they're both girls. So this oh, one is this one's a boy. Yeah. They're, oh, sorry. I yeah. didn't uh, didn't get that. Um, sorry. Uh, well, congratulations, um, and um, uh, that after you had your last baby, which was not expected, but very welcome, um, you got a postnatal depression. Yes, I did. Um, so Aaron was totally unexpected and obviously being much later in life, um, I thought I'd done with all the, you know, looking after babies and nappy changing and um, so it was a huge life change for me and um, it was not something I was ready for even though I had nine months to prepare for it. Um, so when he was born I felt like I'd lost my independence um, and I got really really severe postnatal depression and um, being a very private person I find it hard to talk to people about how I'm feeling. Um, so I tried normal therapy sitting in front of a woman and she's asking me how I'm feeling and you know I was I found I was just telling her what she wanted to hear um, just to get over and done with um, and during that time I kept getting a vision of this woman with a heart in front of her and her crying and I thought I need to I feel like I need to create that I feel like that person is me um, but I don't know how to draw <laughs> I, I can't draw to save my life um, so I taught myself um, Photoshop techniques and I was able to create that image. And then once I'd created that image, I found that it helped me, you know, to can express what I was feeling. And then another image came into my head and then I created that one. And before I knew it, I thought, wait a minute, this looks like a tarot deck. Um, <laughs> just keep, keep creating. And I found that every time I created, there was a part of me that was being put into that image. So all the images in this deck are related to me somehow, either an experience I've gone through or how I was feeling at the time I was creating it or somebody I know okay. you know, or somebody I've known through my life. And I found it was so much, um, it was better therapy for me to be doing this than to be speaking to a person. And that's how this deck came about. I didn't set out to create it. That was not my intention. And uh. it was just the way the images kept appearing it it just created itself if that makes sense but it also helped heal me as well at the same time well what i i get the feeling is that your mind is churning what star sign are you i'm a scorpio oh really great yeah and you're an empath as well so that makes you extra uh, extra emotional. Sen sense yeah and yeah. extra sensitive but scorpios are also sexy the sexiest sign according to linda goodman yeah i don't i don't know whether you know linda goodman but yeah, I, yeah i've read her, her yeah her books are my bibles <laughs> yeah the flower power age <laughs> um and um yeah uh 
we have to take everything in, in a general context. But um, I, I do love the cards because you can pull them uh, one every day and uh, get into the mood and food for thought, I think. And so actually it is therapeutic. It's just like the way you said you've made them and they helped you um, through this difficult time. And um, uh, so that helps you to mot you motivate yourself to think, what can I do? How can I do it? And talk to somebody about it. Um, and I think that, you know, that's an icebreaker as well, because when I do that for myself, I pull cards because there are cards and they're called briefing cards. And yeah. uh, I don't know whether you know them, but psychiatrists use them and uh, managers and evaluators in businesses to break the ice and so that is what I would do with a card. Now for example the Queen of Pentacles, she's Mother Earth now. She is absolutely gorgeous and I like the way you do the little things like the butterfly, butterflies, that transformation and that little bird and that you, you've put the nature into the deck as well. I think it's gorgeous. And also, practically nearly every card has got a moon. And the moon, what does the moon stand uh, so, so why is it so important for you about the moon? So for me, um, I love a full moon, okay? I was born on a full moon. So when I was born, it was a full moon that night, apparently. Um, and I've always lived in this little dream world of, you know, because being an empath, I was always very different when I was growing up. I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. I and I, I used to always be, you know, creating this world in my head constantly. Um, and that's where I felt safe in my little dream world. Um, and it's funny that when I had my postnatal depression, I ended up creating that dream world and bringing it to life because that was where I felt safe. Um, so Beautiful. the full moon, so the full moon for me, it's all about magic. It's about enchantment. It's fairy tale. It's mystical, um, and it's just yeah, it's just magical, and hence why in every card of mine, I just felt like I needed to put that that moon in you know w w a place where I felt safe, you know, in 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 the arms of the full moon. So that's why there's a full moon in every single. I think almost every single card of that has got a full moon in it. Um, and also it's called Enchanted Dreams. So we dream at night, you know, yeah. um, and dreams are heightened at the full moon as well. So hence why the, there's the moon in there. But I just love full moons. It's just something about them. Uh, I, I, I love the moon because it also represents intuition, spirituality, yeah. uh, emotions. And, that, and yeah. It, and now I can even understand it more because you are a Scorpio. Although mm. the moon is uh, re does represent Pisces, but uh, I can understand now that's your emotions, the moon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I also feel even like when there's a full moon, I'm also, I get very emotional during a full moon. So it's best to stay away from me at that time. Um, <laughs> I can always tell when there's a full moon coming up because I'll start feeling a bit, oh, I need to, you know, need my space, stay away from me. And and it's usually that happens at a full moon time. Um, and then when the full moon is over, it's like I'm back to normal again. <laughs> and is that also with the new moon? When there is a no, new just, moon? No, just, just with the full moon. OK, just with the full moon. And it's funny because our son, Aaron, he's pretty much the same. You can tell he gets a little bit angsty near a full moon. Um, but he's a he's um, he's a Leo, but his moon and rising sign are both Scorpio. So Ooh. so he's like That's, super intense. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, that can either go well or it goes like that. We have that tantrums. Ad. We have proper meltdown tantrums with him. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's Aaron that you're talking about. That's Aaron, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, just let him know uh, we support him and we think he's magic because he made this deck happen. He did. And do you know what? It's because this would never have happened if I hadn't had him, you know. So in some indirect way, he, him coming into my life was to kickstart me onto what I meant to be doing for the rest of my life because yeah. no I love creating I can't stop no, um, we, we want more from you and you've just <laughs> told us 
there, there is, is another another deck so please tell us about this oh, other um, deck because this one this deck has no masculine men in it because you've turned the men back to front or they you've in the kings you've left the crown in the chair so this is really a feminine deck to again pointing out the woman how interesting and how important she is how loving she is how sexy or sensual she can be how uh, caring and the mother type you know yeah um, well, and there's i no have i've read some reviews um this was from one man i'll just take that one um it just mirrors actually that he has no insight into himself or what this deck really means because he should t have tweaked this that oh i've got the feminine side in me i can nurture myself or be more nurturing to w a woman be the knight you know um mm -hmm. that all right it might be old-fashioned but that's the way i like to be treated um this deck has got no men and it was funny because I tried to put men into the deck, but it just didn't feel right. So I went with my intuition and didn't put any men in it. I think the reason being that when I was creating this deck, I had completely lost all sense of me. Um, I just felt horrible. I had lost my self-esteem, my confidence. And this deck was about me trying to find the feminine side of me again, which is why there's no men in it. It was all about because it was my healing, this deck is my healing. So I was trying to find the woman in me again and bring her alive. Oh, beautiful. Um, which is why it didn't feel right to put men in it. You know, I tried to put an emperor in yeah, it and I can it just, it, it just didn't, it didn't feel right. And then when I took the emperor out and just left the chair, I thought, yeah, that, that, that's, that, that feels correct. Um, but my next deck, my next tarot deck, um, which is called the deck of the enchanted soul, that's got men in it. It's oh. very different to this one. It's um, more vibrant. It's more alive. It's more colourful. Um, How can it get more colourful? I mean, look at this. Oh, How it can get more colourful. <laughs> oh. You can you, you can see a preview of it on my website. Um, so I've I've shared some cards on my website. Um, it's still very dreamy. It's still very magical. Um, it's still got my touch in it, but it's created in a different place to what I was when I created. The Enchanted Dreams deck, obviously, um, that that was very different. But yeah, for, I've had so many people say, "Oh, it's such a feminist deck." Well, you're a feminist. You hate men. No, I don't hate men. No. I'm not a feminist. I was just trying to find me, find the woman in me, which is why I created that without any men in it. Um, and as, when I found me, I feel whole again. And so my next deck has, has got men in it. Um. So, yeah. I'm glad you found yourself and I, I, we, I can't wait for your tarot deck and your Lenormand deck because I'm a Lenormand person, but a lot, this is magic, magic deck. You. It's, you can't, you know, you can't get more colourful than that. Red, yellow, gold, blues, <laughs> greens. <laughs> wait till you see the other one then, it's, you think this is, um, so I've got that one coming um, next year, I think probably end of next year. Um, I would be sharing on my Instagram and on my Facebook page when I know. I've also created a Hummingbird Wisdom Oracle deck with a woman in America, Ellen, who's an author and she's written the booklet and I've done the artwork. Oh. That one's definitely coming next year. We think it might be August, September, October time. Um, and then the Lenormand deck is still being written. The booklet is still being written. The artwork is all done. Um, and that should be hopefully 2022, I think. Um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing at the moment. Um, oh, you should start a fan club. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know I, how you, to do that. <laughs> ah, well, uh, a newsletter. Um, you know, I, I asked you, can I use this deck to make a calendar? Um, mm -hmm. Because I've got something in my mind and I noticed that you did make a calendar from uh, uh, from this deck, I think it was. I haven't done it from this deck, no. It's oh, my it calendar. Uh, it's fairies. It's a fairy, fairy based. It's something completely different. Sorry. Yeah. I have whiplash, and so my memory is very short term. So uh, sorry if I get things That's mixed okay. up. That's it's okay. That's okay. It's also with my speech. Um, okay. My my cyber angels know that because I've come out of the, the cupboard with that. Um, but I would love to, I would love to make a deck with this. Uh, 
uh, with these cards and I'll, I'll when I'm when we finish taping, then I will uh, go more into it if you still have time. OK, okay um, so that is great. So guys, please go to Jasmine's uh, website and follow her and I'll put it beneath the video and um, I, I'm I'm, the, the deck has even come alive even more and thank you very much for explaining uh, uh, the deck, the Enchanted Dreams, um, Yasmin, and thank and, you and just, for coming out of your comfort zone because you are such a private person. Thank your you. magic. I just want to say one, one thing, um, the deck is magical, absolutely, but I have to give credit to my publishers for actually bringing it to life the way they did. Um, because yes, I created it, but when I first saw the copy of the deck, I was completely blown away by what they had done to it. It was not what I imagined. It was way beyond my expectations. It's stunning. So a big, big thank you to Schiffer um, for just taking my vision and turning it into something so beautiful. Um, and I can't wait to see what they do with my next decks. Oh, I can't wait. And um, I uh, I got the deck. Um, I just wrote to Schiffer, do, would you like anybody to review any tarot cards? And to my big surprise, uh, Kim from Shiver uh, came back and said, yes, we would love to. And this has been such a hit on YouTube. I've had so many reviews and, you know, thank you, Shiver, and thank you, Yasmin, for letting me uh, do the review and having the deck. Well, thank you for doing the great review that you did. It's, it You're feels welcome. really good to see that something that I had absolutely no intentions of creating, you know, has turned out and it's out there and hopefully it's helping other people heal as well as much as it, he it helped heal me. Yeah. It, it, I think I'm sure it will uh, because I, I get goosebumps when I just Thank talk you. about it. And, uh, you know, um, I'm a, as life coach, um, I, I, I'm also an empath and a reader for more than 45 years. And but these this deck just jumps off the, the, the characters, everything, the meanings. Uh, every time you go back, you see more. It's like not 3D, not 4D, but 6D. And it's just amazing. And it has a life of its own. And I wish, I only wish that it would be more available um, in Europe because the only difficulty that I find is that if you have to order it from America, from Amazon or something like that, uh, sometimes they don't send, send the cards to European countries. OK. So I hope uh, you uh, you know that I have had that with the Angel Feather deck as well. Um, I couldn't get them from uh, uh, America, um, but so I I I approached the author herself and um, she sent them on to me. OK, I'll have a look and see um, where they are available in Europe. Because um, okay. I'm sure we've got a distribution network like worldwide, but I can have a look and, and get back to you on that. OK, thank you very much. And then I can let the viewers know uh, that as well um, with the updates on the, on the cards. OK, I thank you very much. Uh, I hope you are OK with this, uh, what's happening around us now with the lockdown. And I send you my blessings and healings and wish your family uh, and you uh, lots of strength, health and happiness and love. Thank you very much. And likewise, thank you so and much. Thank you. And I keep in touch. Will do. Thank you very much for for chatting today. It's been fun. Thank you. It has been absolute fun. Amazing. And I was dead nervous, but you Don't are so easy. <laughs> you're so easy to talk to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.